Population growth and increasing economic activities in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly Ghana, are increasing the need for mobility and the ownership of private cars, largely due to non-existent or insufficient public transport systems. More cars on roads using the regular fuels translate into an increase in carbon emissions. Contrary to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 13, which seeks to reduce carbon emissions and protect the environment by 2030. According to the World Health Organization, global emissions increased by 80% between 1970 and 2010 and continues to rise. In 2019, Ghana signed a five-year deal with the World Bank to cut down carbon emissions and reduce deforestation under the Emissions Payment Agreement Program, where the country was expected to receive $50 million as part of the project. As part of efforts to reduce carbon emissions in Ghana, the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Bokum University of Applied Sciences to pilot the use of e-mopeds and e-cargo bikes to be powered by solar energy. It is expected to be expanded after the pilot project. The three-year pilot project is estimated to cost $350,000 and is to be funded by the German government. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, Professor Elvis Sarabidiako, signed on behalf of the university, while the Vice Chancellor of Boko University of Applied Sciences, Professor Engineer Semig Serenjik, signed for his institution, the director at the Regional Center for Energy and Environmental Sustainability at the University of Energy and Natural Resources engineer Dr. Rick and Chufusu shed more light on the project. Most of the vehicles we use rely on petrol and the rest. But this time we want to see how we can bring in solar energy and the rest into transportation. So this one we have what we call e-vehicles, electronic vehicles that will depend on um, renewable energy. So we'll have what we call charging stations. So the vehicles will charge their uh, power at the charging station, basically bi bicycles. And then we are going to pilot it. So within campus, we will have some of these bicycles there. And then students will, will pay and use. We are doing studies, research studies on it to be able to see how sustainable this will be. And then based on the lessons that we learn, we can be able to influence policy in such a, 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 pro a project. It's something that Ghana can really take it up. For example, if we look at our road designs and provide opportunity for bicycles, bicycle lanes and the rest, then we can really project such a project and activity to take place. And then our abundant solar energy becomes useful in our transport sector. You see how fuel prices are going up all the time. If we can resort to solar, then it will be good. And this is what the University of Energy is all about, where we can use energy in a sustainable manner in, across all sectors of the country. Vice Chancellor of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, Professor Elvis Asarbidia, concerns the institution we continue to support the country achieve its drive towards renewable energy. We all hope and pray that this project, which has the potential to reduce the carbon emission, to save the environment, will really uh, be realized. And the University of Energy and Natural Resources is proud to be part of this uh, agenda. The government is also in effort to save the environment uh, in terms of provision of clean energy as provided solar energy. The University of Energy and Natural Resources, as the name implies, we are solely responsible for the energy and natural resources in terms of academic institution that really support the government. So we also really ready to support government in this direction. For City News, I am Michael Saponifu, Sunyani.